Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to talk about data layer, PHP and e-commerce tracking for Matomo Analytics by using Matomo Tag Manager. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is that in order to do e-commerce, you need to insert some data here and there and most of the time those data are not included on the page or at least are included somewhere else and in order to reach this somewhere else which is a database you need to use a php so in this given video i'm not going to explain you how you can do entirely the e-commerce tracking code because i'm not competent i mean i'm not a developer it's going to take me ages in order to do that but um i'm gonna just going to explain how you can fetch at least one data okay so first of all, you have to know that on the page where the uh, final transaction is going to be validated, you will have the different data that uh, you probably need, such as the order number, such as the uh, final price to pay, such as the content of the uh, transaction and so on and so forth and there are some information which are missing for example if you look at the e-commerce uh, analytics tracking code it's asking you for the sku right this is what you can see over here and the sku it's not uh, included within this page so you need a way in order to uh, go and fetch the data and insert it within the tracking code and that's uh, somehow what we're going to see uh, right now because that's the kind of information you cannot grab with just javascript and this is where you need PHP. So I would say um, the first thing that you need to understand is where are those uh, information and what are uh, the different uh, code that you can use. So of course, you can look for information on the internet such as I previously did. And actually, I, as I don't know much about PHP, I could not really understand this uh, vocabulary but if i look at my server if i look at my server and i uh, look at the templates of uh, woocommerce template checkout i will see many pages like this and if i looked at the content of all those different pages i will see one which is very similar to this one and this is what i did uh, over here i just accessed a text editor i visit a page uh, on my server which is in plugins woocommerce templates checkout and i found out a page which is named thank PHP. So I looked at this page, I changed a little bit the source code, I found out actually this given page is the same as this one. So this is where uh, some useful information I included and that I probably need uh, to hack in order to send the value to the data layer of Matomo Tag Manager. This is what I did here. I just uh, copy and paste the basic uh, script of the data layer of um, of Matomo Tag Manager that you can find on the website directly of, of Matomo. If you just type data layer, you will probably find out the official documentation about it, which is uh, do, 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 Tag Manager, okay, read more. And probably if you go through the full documentation, data layer, you will find uh, the data layer structure. So this is what I did here. I just copy and paste this tracking code and I put it here on the page. Um, at the top of the page and here as you can see i have my data layer and here i define a variable so that's the most important thing here that's the variable so this is the name uh, that you're going to give to your variable that you need to reproduce within uh, the tag manager so this is what i did over mm -hmm. here i went to uh, tag manager and i created a variable and this variable is name order number right it's the name that i gave I choose a type which is a data layer uh, variable name and I give it the name order number. As a result, mm -hmm. I can use this variable after within a tag. So this is what I'm going to show later on. So this is how I can easily include it within uh, the e-commerce tracking code of Matomo by just picking out all those different functions. This is what I show within the previous video. And what I'm going to do if I go over here is I'm going to use the PHP um, line of code over here in order to say, OK, um, as maybe the information is not on the page, please just use this given function. And this given function is going to be um, is going to go and fetch the other number and put it over here. And when I do so, I can straight away confirm that it works because if I look at my source code over here, you will see that I have my data layer, which is fulfilled with the data that I want. You see order number 151. 
Uh, of course, here my data layer is not complete. I need as well the SKU, I need as well the name of the product and so on and so forth. But those data are a bit more difficult to fetch than the easy one that I just fetched over here and I just and that I just in fact copy and paste from uh, one of those functions that you can see up here, which were already on the page. So in fact, what you need to understand, because I'm not gonna uh, develop it that much as I'm not a developer, but what your dev team will do is that they will look within the documentation of WooCommerce in order to understand what are the different PHP features that they need to add over here to the additional uh, variable that they are gonna add uh, over here, right? So it's gonna be probably something like this and so on and so forth that they will use in order to add the different variable that they're going to use afterward for the data layer, right? So, so that's uh, going to complete the data layer in order for you to be able to pick them uh, back. And um, so as, um, let's say, just as a proof of concept, I'm just going to show um, how it works. So here I just created a, a dummy tag, right? You see it's an alert tag, it's a custom HTML tag, and this custom HTML tag is gonna fire a pop-up every time that the page view is showing up the owner number. So if I go on my given page over here and I refresh my page, what's gonna do is that it's gonna display a pop-up, and this pop-up's just gonna go and grab the data which is included within the data layer that I defined, uh, which is grabbing a value in PHP. And as a result, if I refresh my page, I get 151, which corresponds to this given order number. So that's it for the full explanation about PHP, data layer, and Matomo tag manager, just to let you know that your dev team is gonna need to work out in order to define the data layer over here, and in order for you to be able to use this given uh, data layer in order to change the variable of the e-commerce tracking code, which will basically be here a copy and paste of a custom HTML tag that you insert within Matomo Tag Manager to fire only on this given page. And that's it uh, for this uh, video explanation about PHP uh, e-commerce tracking and Matomo Tag Manager. It's more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to make your own video and share it on social network.